You're very welcome back. Now, this morning, Laura Jordan joins us with a shape masterclass. Yes, we're learning how to dress for our body shapes in order to understand our curves and dress to showcase our best assets. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Hi, Laura. Uh, our, our shape evolves and changes over time, so what we may have started out with isn't the same 10 years later. Should we be mindful of that when we're shopping for our clothes? Exactly. I think the best place to start is to have an analysis of your shape because it really focuses on what you should buy and where you should buy it. That is easier said than done. We have an awful lot of media outlets telling us, you know, this, that or the other, you're this fruit, you're this vegetable, and it's not really <laughs> very helpful or flattering. So we're going to do, I suppose, one quick thing to keep in mind when you are trying to determine the shape that you are is don't use a measuring tape. That's the worst possible thing you could do is to put numbers with this, with this uh, experience. So literally a piece of string or a piece of ribbon, just see the relative proportion of bust to hips. What's bigger, what's smaller? If you have a similar measurement between the two, measure the waist and see if that is then something that is smaller and that's where you put your focus. Long story short, wherever the smaller measurement is, that's where you put your fit. That's the part of your body that you reveal and then the part that you conceal or kind of skim over is possibly the larger measurement of the two. So okay. it's a way to take all of the extra noise out of this process and just bring it right back to brass tacks for want of a better word. Okay, Good. great. Well, we have Emma up first this yes. morning, Laura. So Emma is an ex a kind of representative of the largest body shape type we have in Ireland. About 60 to 70% of women fall into the category of having a smaller bust and larger hips. So with that in mind, what we want to do is emphasize the smaller part, which is the bust. So we're emphasizing the cut, lovely kind of fit just under the waist to cinch it in, small little tie, and then a float and skim over the hips. So it's a, this is an example of a shape that works very well if you have that body shape. Smaller bust, large on the hips. And then the covered arm is really helpful because you don't have to worry about putting a jacket or you know something over it to coordinate in. And when we talk about how to accessorize and, and you know, the shoes we choose, they're important details as well because you tend to want to bring the eye to your smaller part, which may be, for example, here we have something that's hitting above the knee. So we're going to look for putting a bit of spark on the feet and up. As we said, the bust is smaller, so bring the eye up with the accessories that we choose, which is why I put these here. So again, a bit of sparkle here. Like these shoes because they go in under the ankle. That elongates the legs slightly rather than having a, an ankle tie that's up above the ankle bone. And then with the jewellery pieces that we have, all about bringing that eye up, showing off the, the collarbone, the smaller bust, the narrower shoulders. So again, we've got a lovely piece of sparkle here from Irish uh, website, Betty and Biddy. That pearl piece just works well with the blue. And then the initial necklaces, which we're kind of seeing everywhere at the moment, they're quite a trend. And we've just popped that with it. It, it brings the eye right up to the collarbone, which is typically a narrow part on every woman. Yes. You know, in general. That's so if you have a smaller at. bust, can you wear a V-neck and round neck and pole necks and high neck? Sort of, yeah. you're, you're looking at that test. Exactly. But if you have a bigger fit. bust, that very low plunging neckline is going to look totally different. Exactly. Right. And it's about the fit on the shoulder. I always say choose an outfit that falls off the, sh off the shoulders. So that's, that's your true size. And then work the bust from there. But I agree, I would choose a different neck piece in that case. Yes. That would bring the eye right up here rather than a little lower down. Low. Yeah. So okay. we have Audrey here. Um, yes. I would have said Audrey is very athletic and exactly. lean and tall. Exactly. So the athletic shape, or it's also called a straight shape, which means you have a similar measurement of bust, waist and hips. There isn't a lot of curve in and out. It typically kind of is a similar view. Okay, so what we have to do in that case is create a curve. So what we've gone with here is a dress that has movement in it. It has, you can see, it sews and flares. So it's the op it's got a little kind of mini pleat in it and it's pulled in at the waist to give it some focus. This is ideal for someone who has a lean figure. If you have a large your hips or weight on your tummy that's going to bulk at that point. So you're looking to create that lead, that small little curve in the right places to give movement to that shape. And this mm. piece does it, uh, does it well. A little cap uh, sleeve as well and not too low on the neck. Then we look at the piece we put with it because it's a heavy enough print. We're going to go with a delicate earring. So again, these pieces uh, from Betty and Biddy, the little star print, really popular at the moment. Their Zodiac pendant, which has got double sides on it, so you can spin it whichever way you want. Um, and again, it just adds a, a little bit of finish to the look, brings the eye up. We are magpies by nature. We will look at sparkle. So for that reason, we're going to bring the eye to where our smaller areas are and let people look there. Then we've got the piece of a little bit of uh, bling on the bag, just to, if you wanted to bring this dress to evening, it's nicely done. And then a courtu, which is, again, elongates the foot 
that fabric doesn't hit the foot till the toe. Therefore, you've got length through the leg as a result, rather than putting an ankle tie on it. Because it's a midi dress, we want to try and elongate, uh, and that kind of works to do that. Okay. And our third, so here, Anna is here. Exactly. In this shape, Anna is wearing a dress that works for work. So if you have any weight around your tummy area, you've got to be careful in terms of the styles you choose. And particularly when we're looking at workwear or fitted pieces, it doesn't mean you have to not wear anything fit. You just want to watch where that fit is. So on this particular dress, it's cut well. So it's got the fit in the cut. We're not trying to do it with a belt. It's already done for us in the tailoring. So again, you've got a nice kind of gentle cut around the bust. It's not too tight. Then we have a side, if you can see, kind of see that there at the waist, it pulled over to the side. Anything that pulls over to the side where the tummy is super, it distracts to bring us to our narrower part. So and it's apple shape, yes. is that it? Yes. So smaller bust and just being mindful of the, mindful the, of tummy, the tummy area. area. The exactly, okay. and then narrow again, uh, again on the legs. Okay. So we're looking at, at how to work with that combination and sometimes it can be tricky to find dresses that do that, so this is a good example. Then we have, uh, again, a little bit chunkier in the jewellery because the dress is not printed because we had the print before, we went a bit more delicate, but because of the block color, we can afford to go a bit, a bit bolder. And we've done that there with the earring and the chain, which are kind of classic pieces uh, that just work and sit over fabric. Um, and again, I suppose it's just a, a question of wondering, can you get your rewears? And these are good examples of things that you can. Mm. The shoes, again, your classic court gives length to the foot. As we said just a moment ago, the fabric only starts on the shoe at the toe, so it gives you your length through it. And I think that's just important to keep in mind. Your, your accessories and footwear choices are something to also consider. Yeah. We get very fascinated with just the dress or You're the top right. and, and the bottom. You're right, and we don't think about the accessories yeah. and the shoes. And they can kind of make or make or break an outfit sounds dramatic, but the idea yeah. of how we finish it off and, and just make sure the eye goes where we want it to go, and that's important. Gorgeous yeah. looks there. Thanks, Mel. Great advice, Thanks. Laura. You're going to stay with us? I am indeed. Look forward to it. Thank you.